Hello everyone. Good morning or good afternoon. I don't know when you are going to watch this video, but I would like to welcome you all and say that I miss you really, all of you. Today we will continue talking about shadows. I want you to open your book, page 44, Shadows and Shapes. Does sh do shadows change their shape, their length? Why they look like this? If there is a reason for this, this is what we are going to learn today. Does do shadows change their shapes or not? And why? First, this is a reminder and review of what we have taken the last time. Shadow is made when an object is blocked by light. Look at this picture. We will find that the light uh, transfer or moves in straight line. It travels in straight lines. Here, the light from the lamp is blocked by the man standing in front of it. So it casts a shadow behind him. So when an, the light is blocked by an object, it casts shadow. Light travels in a straight line. So if it is blocked, there must be a shadow formed. Look at page 44. Shadows and shapes. Shadow shapes. Shadows do not always look, look the same as the object they make. Look at this man. Look at his object. If it look, does it look the same? Exactly the same? No. It looks different. Especially look at this bag. Does it look exactly the same here in the shadow? No. We have a lot of things that affect this. Shadows can be a different shape. This is number one. Shadows have no color. As you can see, shadows are always dark. Shadows have no details. We cannot see the eyes and the ears and the mouth of the man here. It's hard to identify these features in the shadow. So if you saw a shadow with eyes, nose, and mouth, run away, OK? Don't stand in front of it. Are there any characteristics for the objects in order to reflect or to cast shadows? To reflect, does, are there any characteristics for this object? Yes. If the object is opaque or translucent, it makes shadow. Opaque or translucent means it's opposite to transparent. Can you see? I can see through this bottle. So it's transparent. I can see through it. So if I can see through the things, it means that it's not opaque or translucent. So it does not make shadows. Like the window. The window is transparent. It allows the light to go through it. So it does not make shadow. Can you think of other things that, can make, that are transparent that cannot make shadows? Yes. Glass water bottle. Pepsi and Coca-Cola bottle, the glass ones. These are all transparent. They can make light go through it. So the first thing we talked about is that the shape, the object should be opaque or translucent in order to cast shadows. Another thing affects shadows. What is it? Something affects the length and the direction of the shadow. The light. 
the length of the direction of shadows it changes during the day. Why? Because of its light. So in the morning, the light here, the source of light here was the sun. As you can see, the shadow of the house is in this direction. While in the afternoon, the shadow direction it changes. In the midday, it's completely different. So early morning, the sun is low in the sky and casts a long shadow. So the length and the direction of the shadow, it changes. Length and direction. In the midday, the sun is above the tree and the ca and casts a short shadow. As you can see here, it's a short shadow. Because the sun is in the middle of the sky, on the tree, it makes different shadow than the early morning. At the end of the day, the sun is low and the sky casts long shadows on the tree, as we saw in the first picture. So now, I want you to make an experiment. If an object is moved closer to the light source, does really the shadow gets bigger? So we are going to get a light source like this mobile. Okay? And we are going to get an object. Not like this one. I want a dark object like this one, like this sharpener. And see if we make it closer, what will happen to the shadow? If we put it further, what will happen to the shadow? Make this experiment after you watch this video and tell me what will happen. Okay? This is the first thing I want you to do after watching this video. The next thing is try to figure out how the shadow of this three objects will look like. So you open your activity book, page 24, get a pencil and try to think, what is the shadow of these three, three objects will look like and start drawing. Now, let's revise what we have done today. Okay, first, shadow and shapes. Does the shadow shape, it changes because of what? Because the length and the direction of the shadow change because of the place of the source of light. Okay, like in this photo. The length and the direction of shadows changes during the day because of the place of the source of light. If we have objects that are opaque or translucent, it makes shadows. However, if they are transparent, the light go through it. And of course, as a reminder, shadows do not always look like the object that makes them. Shadows can be a different shape. Shadows have no colors. They are always dark. Shadows have no details like eyes or mouth. So these are the most three important parts we have talked about today. Please watch the video again and do the two, the experiment and page 24 in the activity book. Thank you very much for listening. I hope that you have understood this lesson.